song's called History. on each other. Well done, Andy. I stashed like seven bottles of piss in your van uh, over the last few days, and you're gonna find them all slowly. I literally did. Oh, 
over it. we had as a band uh, was last October. We got to go out uh, on tour of the band called Emery. Has anybody heard of them? And uh, Pete's Mercutio was, uh, was on that tour with us. And when we had a chance to come up here, uh, the reason we booked some of these shows up here is because we're going on a tour with the band next month called Pierce the Veil and Sinu with Silence. I wouldn't cheer too loud because the reason we booked these shows is because that tour is not coming here. So we could do so. We decided we want to bring those guys on the road with us again. Uh, so thank you for coming early and catching all the bands. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Is that fucking Britney again? <laughs> all right. Hey, a lot of white girls named Britney. <laughs> Every white girl's name is Britney and her middle name is Anne. <laughs> 
or Marie or Anne Marie. Okay, okay, okay. Right, 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 right. Talking like this is a fucking punk show. Keep it down. We love Britney too. All right, this next song's a, a song that I wrote for my mom, Janice. Uh, she was having a really rough year, and I wanted to write her a, a song to kind of lift her spirits up. So I wrote her a song called No More Bad Days. Pretty fuck it down.
I also talk about white people in the third person. Just, like, like I'm not one of them, like I'm on the outside. Stop everything about this. Just play the next song. <laughs> Brittany, come do a guest vocal on stage. Wildlife for a long time. This song's called Ripped Away.
It's our sleeper hit. So this next song, uh, we just got back from a UK tour about a week ago, and we were playing a show in a city called Newcastle over there. And uh, we told Newcastle, we said, all right, this is gonna be our last song, guys. And uh, and they booed us while we were on stage, and they like, not like jokingly, like they really fucking booed the shit out of us. And someone in the crowd, a, a girl of all people, called me the c-word, and it really, it really caught me off guard. Her name is Brittany. <laughs> See, it's like a comedian thing. You always bring it full circle, but. They call us the sewer, and I guess over there that's just kind of a thing. They say it more often than we do here. And so we had to play an extra song, and we'd never really played it live before. So we kind of just pulled one out, and it wasn't a complete train wreck. So we're going to play that song for you guys tonight so you don't do us. but it was my fault, so tonight it's Anthony's fuck up. He was in the wrong team. Not to come with the bus or anything, bro, but...
This next song we're about to play is an old one. Uh, it's a single we released a few years ago. Uh, and it's a song that, uh, that Anthony kind of wrote on his own, and then he sent me a riff for it, and he told me to write like a, a cute song for people to get married to. And I told him, that's a really shitty thing to do. Uh, but he insisted, and he thought that we'd make a million dollars. We didn't. He didn't say it, but he meant it. And uh, the only way that I could write that song with a clean conscience and not think that I was just trying to BS people and take their 99 cents on iTunes was if I, if I really wrote the song about somebody that I had like unconditional love for. No, I, I achieved it. It's a success. I wrote the song about my dog named Humphrey. He's a beautiful part Pomeranian, part Terrier, part something else. Sing and whistle along if you know it. stage and we're just not coming back <laughs> and what I mean by that uh, is we want to meet you guys so if you guys want to stick around and take photos or chat uh, Anthony and I are both going to be sit, hanging out at our merch table right over here come say hi to us
branches. to be alone.